Did you need something else? High casualties? We've had one broken ankle, but nobody at this post has died. There are other ranger posts around. Reyes might have mixed up the report. Any injury, illness, or death gets radioed to Ranger HQ at Camp Golf. Chief Hanlon and his aides compile the reports and assign reinforcements as needed. And they're not needed here. Reyes got the numbers wrong. Not much more to it than that. So long. Yeah. You must be mistaken. I haven't filed any report like that. Trained death claws? I would have remembered that. If someone is saying I filed that report, that's a load of crap. I won't have my name attached to a clerical error. Yeah, it's a damn shame. There was a lot of talk about expelling her from the Rangers, especially once the gambling and drinking started. Being posted here is her second and last chance, and so far, I'm not impressed. Link's jumpy all the time, and the others are sick of it. Be careful out there. Welcome back. I knew it. Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at Camp Golf. But why would the Chief manipulate the reports? I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon and confront him with it. I don't want to make this public unless we have to. Bye. Hey.
Hello. I'm occupied at the moment. Come see me when I'm on the balcony.
Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now, what can I do for you? I didn't realize you were in such a hurry. I get so used to sitting in this chair and listening to radio reports, sometimes I forget people are getting ready for war out there. Shoot. Interesting that she would wrangle someone else into sorting out the problem. But I suppose you're in the right place. A lot of intel comes through here. I don't know Technical Sergeant Reyes, but coordinating intel can be messy sometimes. Things get mixed up, people get confused. Heck, I get confused, and I've been doing this for a long time now. What he or she sees as a problem might be standard operating procedure. That's not to say Reyes is wrong for being concerned, but it's easy for the sand to get in your eyes out here. It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Comm rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I, or one of the other rangers on duty, organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. Comm rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. Well, the logical thing to do is to check with the patrol rangers and comm officers. Don't be too discouraged if some things don't match up. Different people see different things, and sometimes the meaning gets twisted, lost in static from person to person. Shoot. This again? All right, what do you want to know? Shoot. Hold on. If we're gonna have this conversation, let's go somewhere more private. Don't worry, not much bite left in this old dog. Hey. 
Sorting and manipulating intelligence is what I do. It's what rangers are supposed to do. This job isn't all gunfighting and gulping shots of whiskey, no matter what the boys and ladies out there say. You have, have you? Misdirection. When you're pinned down, outnumbered, and two days from any help, it's just about the best friend you can have. Misdirection's what saved me all these years. It's what saved us at Hoover Dam. But it's been five years now, and Caesar's right across that lake. He's closer now than he ever was before. I was a young man once. I know what it's like to want to fight for your home. But this isn't it. It's never gonna end, this fight with Caesar. People back home don't know what these young men and women are in for. The Legion is the worst enemy we've ever faced. But we can't stop Caesar here, not without getting a lot of good people killed. More than anyone cares to count up. But even if we do stop him, I don't see how we're ever gonna be able to pull out. People back home don't listen. They don't care. Senators, Brahmin barons, folks who are just trying to make it from day to day. It's been so many years that people forget about it. Conscription brings in fresh troops that die here every month, like it's routine. And even if we hold this dam, what then? Are we gonna send the NCR's men and women to die here for another five years? 10? Patrol the whole length of the Colorado for hundreds of miles? Holding this dam, it'll be the death of us. Creating fear and instability among the troopers without causing harm. It's the only thing I could think of to shake things up. It took some people getting killed to realize I'd gone too far. I had to stop. First thing that comes to mind is to turn me in. But that might not be the best play, all things considered. Even if your heart's in the right place, I reckon it might do a lot more harm than good. Oliver can't stand that Rangers got credit for victory at Hoover. Whatever I recommend, he does the opposite. I said I wanted us on the ridge. He put them right on the western part of the dam itself. We don't have enough firepower to hold that spot. If the troopers fall back, and they will, the Rangers will advance to cover Oliver's retreat. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. Rangers are volunteers. Every man and woman who signs up is willing to die for the NCR, myself included. A lot of this is my fault. It's only right that I stand with them. Maybe 50 Rangers will die on that dam. We lose over a thousand troopers every year. Being here is crazy. Getting out's the only sane thing to do. I don't know if you're working for Caesar or if desperation's made me a heck of a lot more persuasive. Either way, this is the right thing to do. Now, I trust we're done discussing this. I'm gonna step through that door and pretend like we never had this talk.
We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. What did Chief Hanlon have to say about those false reports we uncovered? The Chief? But he's a legend. Well, I guess if he's got a plan behind it all, who am I to question it? I won't say a word about it to anyone else. Back already? What do you need? Are you ready? Come back when you're ready. Ranger vets are on their way from Bob.
Stop messing around with the intercom, smooth skin. Let's hope you do. things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, Turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room. Set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you. That Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, 
seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. That Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Cut it out, human. Serious final warning. Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Captain once. Last name Davison, first name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor, very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The others' minds going strange, going crazy. But then, I found us new Master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. Human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot, and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will.
Did you find my friend? I'm not expecting good news, but keep looking. Later. Did you find my friend? I 
see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Kinda busy running for my life here, smooth skin. Later. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The invoice said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. <laughs> 